talk about when men lead with money. When men lead with money. Here we go. When you buy your way in and you become a provider and you just become like a like you represent provision, that's not the same as being sexually stimulating. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That like out. representing provision and just being a guy, yo, I'm gonna buy you a bunch of shit. Yo, that, that's yeah. weak. I ain't See, never a guy, buying, a guy that never a guy, buy nobody guys shit that again. use money, guys that use money, <laughs> never do guys that, that, that use again. money to to sustain their relationships and use money to get their way in. That's yeah, that was me. weak. That it's was weakness. Me. Fuck, yeah. It's weak. Because I mean, you don't believe in you enough. Yeah. You you trying no to use way. money. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? You got to be you. That. The money the money is an exclamation mark. Yeah. The money makes you more of whatever you already are. Yeah. But you got to bring something to the table. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's not about I never the wanted money. to bring anything to the table. Yeah, that's a you I want the want, easy way. Yeah, I want but, the easy way. But out. The easy way will get you in, but it ain't no relationship yeah, in it. Yeah. Or unless she just wants the provision. Yeah. Unless she just wants to be provided before. But 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 guess what? When you're the guy that's providing the money and all that, what she's going to do is she's going to get a silverback gorilla to tear her yes. ass up on yes, the side. No doubt. Because no you're doubt. not bringing the stimulation. No, I, was, no. I used to be, <laughs> the, no, I used to be the silverback me. gorilla. Yeah, yeah. I used to be the gorilla. Yeah, that's I know. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, so you, you can you be can one say, or the oh. other. You know what I mean? You could be the silverback gorilla yeah. or you could be the fucking guy who's, you know, yeah, paying the gorilla. I, I bet they're yeah, both yeah. bro. They have both sides. <laughs> both sides. You know what I mean? Fuck. When a man, uh, when man lead with money, let's talk about it, y'all. I've been saying that shit for years, man. Like dudes literally think that money is enough. It's not. It's not enough, man. Do you know how many NBA players, wives and girlfriends have been in my DMs? NFL players. Like money is not enough, bro. If 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 you don't have, hey, talk your shit, nigga. What the fuck? That, we ain't bro, gonna that, just glaze past that. The fuck? All all bragging aside, bro. That, that's real shit. Cause a lot of dudes use money, bro. Like a, a lot of dudes use money to to like substitute for personality, substitute for emotional uh, connection, substitute for you just having swagger and just aura and confidence about yourself. That shit does not replace that. What it does is that it, it provides a, a, a buffer to where, and again, especially for broke women, because that's the thing. You bring all that money around broke women, you think, okay, yeah, she broke, so this money going to hold her. No, nah, that, that money's going to hold her long enough for her to buy everything that she's ever wanted. So once she gets that car that she always been wanting, once she gets that purse that she always been wanting, once she gets that, that, that you know, what, whatever material shit, that jewelry she always been wanting, now you're left with how well do we connect? How compatible are we? And if you're not compatible, <laughs> she gonna cheat on you with somebody that's compatible. And more times than not, that's more broke than you are. Way more broke. Why? Because he has time and he has to master those other things because he doesn't have the money to hide behind like you do. <laughs> right? So, uh, again, like for all these dudes out here thinking, yeah, I'm gonna just get to the bag and I'm gonna just get the woman of my dreams and we just gonna ride off into the sunset. <laughs> I got bad news for y'all niggas, man. Y'all niggas need to start working on y'all personality and emotional maturity and emotional connection to these women. Until you do, good luck. <laughs> emotional <laughs> damage. Love that connecting the dots. Uh, go ahead, Ricky. See yeah, it's like, I, you know, compared to everyone, I'm a broke nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, bro, like, just because you got money don't mean you ain't no goddamn lame, bro. Like, y'all see it like all these dudes, y'all billionaires getting took and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, old dude, he, uh, what's the one chick named Shannon? Um, We talk about her. She was like the new Marilyn Monroe, bro. Oh, Anna Nicole Smith? Yeah, Anna Nicole Smith, right? Right, take this old dude for it because he got dough, bro. Dough, like, she's sleeping with the money, bro. <laughs> Let's just keep it a bean. He ain't give a you know fuck though. Saying? That nigga was about a thousand years but old. It, it's, it's, it, it don't matter though. It's the same gift. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, bro. Like, if you ain't here for me, you ain't there. Like the the, the money, the money. Like I keep trying to tell y'all, the money is a tool. It's a tool. It's a right. Bonus. That's what it is. It's so you can get through life and you can do the things that y'all want to do and the things you need to do, man. But if that, like I said, dudes that leave their wallet, they corny to me. They corny. They corny. You are, you are enough. You are enough. The money is... That's extra on top, but you supposed to be you. 
you supposed to be you first. Because what happened? Because I understand everybody say, you know, it don't happen to nobody, blah, 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 right? But shit, we didn't see billionaires go broke. Can you get it back? Yeah, for sure. I'm sure, right? But what are you without the money, though? And I ain't even knocking people that chase the bag. If you, hey, however you, what, however it make you feel about yourself, you, you, you live in a good life. You got a certain standard of living. That's cool. I ain't knocking it. I ain't knocking it. But who are you at the end of the day? Who are you? Just saying. I think you spoke uh, something very important, man. I even use this example, right, about the motorcycle. Y'all heard me use it before. You know, when everybody got a motorcycle, it's fair game. But when she get on your bike, can can she stay? Is she going to stay on your bike? You move to the next destination, she might hop off your bike if you ain't got no personality, if you're born, if you're not entertained, if you can't keep her attention, she's going to hop right onto the next nigga bike because at that point, y'all equal. But what keeps them there? is you having some substance, you having something that you can offer that along with the bike, because the bike is looked at as a as an asset at that time. That's all they see. It's a bike, nigga. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop on this bike. But I've seen women hop right off of there. And the guy be looking sick as hell because he born. Nigga going head show- to the house. Right. <laughs> he, ain't, like, he ain't showing a good time. Not, now he got to look at her ass on, on your bike. <laughs> that's what hey, it is. Hey, hey fellas, the view is always better when she on another nigga bike, anyways. Just yeah. get behind it. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, saying. That's, that's, all, that's all you can do. You know, he's gonna still roll out, but it's like, man. <laughs> and look back on that motorbike. Look, he's the Instagram took your nigga. That bike took your bitch. <laughs> a whole other thing. Boys, man. <laughs> bike took your bitch. A whole other thing, man. I mean, you just gotta be able to have it if you can get them there, because it's a lot of broke niggas that just that just got it. You know, they may not have they may have a little something and they and they have a leverage over you because they don't have to do all that extra. It, it comes off as more authentic. You know, they know they recognize that they ain't really got all that money, but because they they are truly themselves, it's able to hit a little different. When with somebody that just leave with their money and that's all that they have, once you get around them, they start to look around because it's just not this it's, it's just something about it. It's just something about a, a, a real motherfucker that can just really maintain your attention in so many other different ways hey man i'll say this if you an elite trick just say that man <laughs> elite trick if you a world-class <laughs> old car carrying elite member of the trick nation just say that just say that man you know even amongst dudes well, I don't know how y'all think. I, I just for me like dude, the first conference man i got this i got that man oh, hell yeah Ain't nobody impressed with that. And, um, you know, uh, LL says something that was um, equally important because it's like, man, when you don't have personality and all you come is, all you look like is an EBT card, a link card, or some type of resource, man, they're going to find that silverback gorilla any way to get their back blown out. Shout out to the lawn man. <laughs> the big, the milk man. The pool guy. All y'all niggas. Man, 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 all y'all man, man. Man. Think about all those yeah. movies. Yo, Ricky, think about all those movies like in the 80s and there was always the rich wife with the running off with the pool boy or, you know what I'm saying? The dude that was, you know, the lawn man, like Krill was just saying, right? I just won't, listen, man, I, I don't, I don't, I ain't pocket watching and, and I'm, I don't, you know, I just, man, if you a world-class trick, just say that. You know me, I respect the pimping and the hoeing, man. Pimping and hoeing the best thing going, man. I respect right. it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what? You know what's funny about this shit, bro. <laughs> so y'all, y'all niggas know I'm retired. So like sometimes I'm with my son, and we in the middle of the day, in the city, right? And the only people that's not at work is these housewives of these rich motherfuckers, bro. And they be motherfucking choosing, bro. They be choosing. <laughs> I know what you got going on at the house. <laughs> that, that, that nigga, he, he got a little Peter Weeder over there. <laughs> yeah. And for the ladies in the chat, a Peter Weeder is a dick, but smaller. That's what that is. You know what I'm saying? But he knows this here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know you country. They say that's the country question. 
I say, bro, I tell it, it is it's nothing sadder in the world, man, than to like be in a room like full of full of dudes and a room full of women all at the same time, and like a nigga money don't work in that room. <laughs> like it's that's the saddest shit that you'll ever see in the world. Like a nigga be literally there just twi twirling his like you know Ben's keys shit like that. Oh. He ain't getting no play. Bitches ain't looking at him. They ain't talking to him. You got a broke nigga in here that then got three four numbers already, and he just sitting in the corner, just no personality, keys in hand. Trying to you know flash, nigga. Trying to buy everybody drinks and shit. The girl, girls come over there drinking it, but they going back to the nigga that got the confidence, the nigga that got the personality, that got the swag. It's nothing sad in the world. Look at look at the look on his face. The next time y'all in this position, hey, and I, and I want y'all to remember what I said. Hey, <laughs> hey Trill. Go, go ahead, go ahead, Rick. My bad. Hey, hey, the worst part though, Trill. Right, the worst part when it's your man's right and you telling them. You telling them, bro. This ain't it, bro. This ain't it, dog. <laughs> nope. I, I got stories for days, man, from when I was in the Army, boy. It was ugly, bro. It was ugly. And if you want to keep it real, if you really think about a lot of men that, even, even some men that's in the gym, right? Think about the men that really got their bodies together. You know, it was, it was a, a reason as to why they did that. It was a reason why they may have gotten to the bag. It was a reason why they may have gotten those materialistic things to overcompensate for the confidence that they don't have. And that's, and that's just, the, that's, that's the real. When I was, when I was growing up, I ain't really have much, right? I ain't really have much, but I think that it, it appeared to be that way. I knew I ain't had shit, man. I just made what I had. What I had worked. I didn't really, I wasn't broadcasting shit. I wasn't saying I, I just was just moving, but it was more so the mouthpiece, more what I had to offer up here, you know, who I was as a person. That's that's what that's all I could really leave with because that's all I had. I ain't had shit growing up. I ain't gonna even lie. I had yeah, to had a beard, neither nigga. <laughs> I mean, even before the beard, I had a gold tee. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I know. I had some, I had some hair, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't, I don't know what that feel. I didn't know what that feels like to actually leave with some shit that I didn't have. So I just, I just had the mouthpiece. I mean, I, a lot of people don't really understand that, but a lot of people get these materialistic things to in order to compensate. But then a real chick gonna expose you, or she gonna really see what you, what you about. You know, she may stick around for you and hang around while it's all glamour and everything is good, but low key she might not be happy. And women can have have shit re really good. They can be motherfucking fucking around on you and you won't even know that shit. They real smart. They real keen, man. But that's a whole nother conversation. Anybody else want to go ahead, Rio? Like you want to speak on it? Yeah, I was just bringing it back to just the fact. That I think we just got to be authentic. You know, we have to be authentic especially if we want an authentic person. I mean, when you put it in perspective, do you want a person who likes you for the experience that you can create with your resources? Or do you want somebody who just genuinely likes who you are? Like, who just likes you, right? Because eventually, you go too far down the line, like we mentioned, you got to wake up every day to this person. They got to wake up every day to you. Right? And so, after all of that, is no longer even matters and you just dealing and living in everyday life is that a person that you can do it with right and so when we leave with that just don't expect to really get any type of relationship that has any substance she has fun with you right because of the experience that you create Hey, she might even like living with you because of the lifestyle you've elevated her to. But this goes back to, does she like you? Because as we mentioned, the silverback is always lurking. And is you okay with that? Some ladies right now know they got a silverback. And then they got this good old faithful at home. Flipping the bill, but he's inadequate in other ways, and she don't really like him. Then there's this silverback, and he tears it up for free. She likes him, and he is adequate in some of those other ways, 
right? Do you want to be that? Do you want to be in that position? I mean, I mean, these are some things to just consider and to think about. And I'm even going to put it on the other side of things, too. There's a lot of words that are being thrown out today in regard to women like pick me's, right? Okay, fine. We we a lot of women are picking up game, taking notes. They know exactly what to say, right? And exactly what to be. And yes, that may get you in there. You might be able to stay a while, right? But if you annoy the shit out of him naturally, and this is something to do with time, you got to figure that with time, that'll come. There still may be a nice, fine lioness that goes walking, you know what I mean, at right place, right, right time, and he still might have a side one on you. Trill said one, Trill said this episodes ago, and he's married. He says, if you like each other, if you like each other. Right. Then that's the, I, I, that's one I didn't forget, because I'm thinking if you got to spend the rest of your life by choice, I damn well better like this person. What really matters? Let's think about what really matters. So that's my take on it. Shane, you've been too damn quiet, brothers, to have you to chime in or something. <laughs> it is a yeah, you know it's something real. Wow, yeah, she right. they called you out, Rio. <laughs> Rio called you out, Shane. Okay, <laughs> what you got, Shannon? No, I'm just I'm listening. I'm learning from you, brothers. I'm here. I'm, I'm absorbing all the info. I'm a little different than take. I, I I'm, I'm I'm I like the money. Why? I mean, listen. It's almost like you guys. Are, it, it sounds like you guys are saying it's one or the other. Why? How can we can't be a silverback with money? Oh no, nope, nope. No, I ain't saying that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, I'm just and, nope. I mean, I it's, not, it's few and far between, honestly, Shane. I mean, that goes. Huh? Just, I said because it gets few and far between. I mean, if you look at um, uh, Mr. Lee's uh, super chat over here, he kind of he kind of asked the same question. He got a hundred. He got a hundred dollar super chat or something like that. It said, "I have a question." There you go. I have a question. Why is the man with always considered lame with women? I know many men, black and white, with money who are not lame with women. Agreed. That's Shout just, out to Sage. Shout it's out just, to Sage. But that's, that's not the statement, just, though. Them niggas is few and far between. That's, but that's the not the statement, though. though. The statement is this. The statement is saying you're leading with money makes you lame. Okay. That, I think so, that's what people are trying to say. So I, you know, and L, shout out to LL and and Tyson, but none of them niggas that give up their money to be what the fuck they talking about. I know how Hollywood. Be. I know <laughs> a lot of. You know what I'm saying? It's like all. It's like people with bread be talking all that good talk, but then when you talk to them, they be like, "Yeah, but I, that's just what I'm telling motherfuckers, man. I need to keep keep selling records. I ain't giving up shit. I don't know no wealthy motherfuckers. I know a lot of rich people, and none of them will give up their money to have a great personality." They like, fuck it, just deal with my assholeness. And then if my bitch leaves, then fine, I'll just get another one. The thing is to be a a, a, the, a a dude with bread and a silverback. Be a silverback with money is my point. Now, here's the thing. Don't get me wrong. Leading with money and leading with your wallet is two different things. I don't Leading with your money is kind of corny. It's like, you know what? Look, you know, you out there, you making it rain and shit, you're trying to buy out the bar. I see, I see that shit all the time. This is like, dog, you don't have to do that. That's not necessary. I don't even do that. I don't come in. I don't be flat throwing bread around. I can, but I don't. I just, I'm real conservative when I go out. It's just like, I'll be watching motherfuckers. I don't have to do it because it's not necessary to get what I want. But I know a lot of dudes, single motherfuckers out here and how they come with the Gucci belts and they looking all fly and they doing all this extra shit unnecessarily because that's all they got. But leading with your wallet is different. See, your wallet doesn't just hold money. So that's why, let me give you guys my philosophy on leading with your wallet versus lead. you should always lead with your wallet. It's Men. your lifestyle. It's your lifestyle is what you're saying. Shane. Exactly. So your, your wallet holds your insurance cards. Your wallet holds your ID. Your wallet could potentially hold your passport. Your wallet holds your medical records. Your wallet holds your AAA emergency cards. Your wallet holds a whole lot. The, the money is just in the back slot. But what's about what's in all the rest of those compartments in your wallet that comprises an individual that comprises a man of all the things that he's become. Your wallet holds a lot. Your wallet holds the backup key to your house. 
It holds a spare key to your car. It hold a wallet can hold a lot more than just money. So men should lead with their wallet to say, listen, this is who I am as a whole. This is the man that I am. And I want you to understand what kind of man that I am. And do you qualify for a guy like me? Because this wallet that I got is thick. Now, if a guy pulls out just the back slot and shows his money and doesn't have anything else, if he has a wallet full of money and there's nothing else in it, so all he can do is leave with his money, then that's another thing. I'm with you guys on that one. But I don't know, man. You know, you know, personality is cool, and I get all of that, and you should have a great personality. I don't know if I have – I'm an ass. I call myself a professional asshole. But what? money, uh, you know – Shout out to LL. You know, you could you get into you, it, it'll get you access. Well, that's what you yeah, you gotta get access. Person, I know some really nice motherfuckers that's outside that can't get in because they ain't got what it takes when it comes to finances to get in. When you get in, then that's where your personality shines. And so I'm simply saying, don't think that personality alone is gonna do it. If you can be the silverback with money, then your woman, you ain't gotta worry about your woman running out and smashing the pool boy. If you're just a guy with great personality, that ain't gonna work too for a lot of women. Not, not in America. Not uh, are we a real are we keeping it real here? This is you know reality land over oh, here. Yeah, yeah. So we come up with a great per but you baby, I'm great. I know I I, I know I'm just an assistant manager at Walmart, but and that's all I'm ever going to be, but I'm a nice guy and I know how to talk to you and I, and I cuddle after I fuck you. So, you know, <laughs> you know, what are we doing here? Are we, are we saying that, you know, personality trumps all in this Western capitalistic society or should it be a balance of all of it? It needs to be a balance of all of it. So if we just negate the fact that money, you know, again, I said it earlier, people that say, you know, money, uh, doesn't buy happiness is the brokest people that said that. Somebody broke that said that. I, wouldn't you rather cry in a Porsche? I'd rather cry in a Porsche. 